Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Well, it's great to see the clear skies that we had today, and we're actually taking a look right now on our uh, Buffalo Run camera right there out of Miami, Oklahoma, as we chase the daylight uh, sunset here in Springfield a little bit before 5 o'clock, so a little darker here than it is over there in Miami, Oklahoma, where temperatures are currently right at freezing. We're a little colder here in Springfield with readings just below the freezing mark, and there is a look at the clear skies that we now have across northern Arkansas and southern Missouri. It's not going to hold. We've got some cloud cover, which is going to work in overnight tonight. Here's a peek at a, a picture that we had sent in last night. This from Charity Corbett of Houston, Missouri, and I think it's pretty representative of what we saw in much of southern Missouri and, and maybe even in the northern parts of Arkansas, though to a lesser extent, and that was that icy glaze that we had last night as a result of freezing drizzle topped off with a little bit of a dusting of very light snow. The further north you went, the higher the snowfall totals were. Uh, Nevada, one inch, uh, almost an inch in Appleton City in St. Clair County. You can see Rolla also just shy of an inch. Uh, here in Springfield, officially a trace recorded, and that big storm is starting to unwind now across the Great Lakes in the northeastern U.S., but it's still generating some system snows across Ohio and eastern sections of Indiana. For us locally, again, quiet weather. Earlier today, you could see the snow cover on the map uh, using our visible satellite imagery, and, and you can see how it focused here right along I-70. You could see some of the lakes, those dark spots in there. Those are lakes that are actually popping out within the snow cover. Notice how the Ozarks pretty much snow free. We missed out on uh, that snowstorm. Overnight tonight, we're looking at overnight clouds and cold temperatures. We're going to have a cold front sneaking across the area, so look for tomorrow to be a lot like today. We'll have sunshine, but we're also going to have cold temperatures. In fact, it doesn't look like it's going to be much warmer than it was this afternoon. So we're holding off that warming trend until the middle of the week. Overnight tonight on our hour by hour forecast, again looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies. And I think we're going to wake up to mostly cloudy skies here in the southwest corner of Missouri and in northwest Arkansas. Those clouds will quickly clear out by mid to late morning, and the rest of the day looks sunny area wide. Uh, and winds not quite as strong, generally out of the northwest at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures tonight look like they'll probably be every bit as cold as they were this morning, right around 20 here in the Springfield area with an afternoon high tomorrow of 37 degrees. Again, winds a little lighter out of the northwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour and because we're holding on to the cold, only a five on our colorator. Now let's talk about the rest of the week because we've got yet another big storm moving across the region at the end of this week, heading into this upcoming weekend. So we get a break and we're going to find temperatures warming up and then that big storm is going to move across the area and it looks like that one will probably track a little bit further north than the last one. So here are the uh, potential storm impacts. It's a long way out, but still what I'm thinking mild Friday, Friday night we're going to have rain and probably some embedded thunder and I think with the amount of energy with this storm system and also some instability sneaking in, we may have to watch out for an isolated severe weather risk and then a windy Saturday with dropping temperatures. So again, we've got the warm up ahead of the storm 56 mostly cloudy on Thursday, maybe some overnight drizzle and fog about 60 and mostly cloudy on Friday. Rain comes through Friday night and still lingering shower risk on Saturday with temperatures topping out near 60 that morning and then falling back through the 50s into the 40s during the afternoon and the back end of the weekend and early next week looking a bit chillier with highs on Sunday in the low 50s and then on Monday mostly cloudy skies with highs in the 40s. Okay, overnight low of 19 though, so just bundle up. Yep. <laughs> okay, yep. what's our viewers club number tonight? All right, well let's see it. Uh, there it is, bottom of your screen, 135678 is tonight's number. All right, Jamie, thank you. David? All right.